it started in the United States with a CFA uh, group of breeders and judges. And they decided that people were unhappy with the long coat of the Persian or the Himalayan because it nodded. However, they loved the type of the cat. They loved the big round eyes, they liked the little button nose, the short cobby body and the little ears. But they didn't care for that coat that was uh, a lot of maintenance, a lot of work. So they decided they needed a short hair but keep the body type and uh, facial type. So they brought in three other breeds to use to create this, this uh, breed called exotic short hair which was the uh, British short hair, the Burmese and the American short hair. They used these three breeds with the Persian to create a short haired Persian, we'll call it. But it is officially called and registered as an exotic short hair. The breed itself is 30 years old uh, in that it was uh, recognized for championship 30 years ago. They do not jump high, so they may jump up to your couch, up onto your bed. If they jump on your table, they should be scolded and they will learn. <laughs> They're, they're very intelligent kittens and cats. This is why I, I was an, a Persian breeder and moved into the exotic because of the intelligence. You just point your finger and they seem to understand uh, that you don't like what they're doing and they'll stop what they're doing until you leave the room. <laughs> These are purebred cats. All purebred cats are indoor cats so they're strictly an indoor. They'd actually be quite frightened if they were left loose outside. If you talk to them, they'll talk back. So, like little little sassy children. When they want to eat, so they'll they'll be over there talking to you, letting you know. You actually think you're talking to a child. Seriously. The exotic really doesn't need to have a second cat in the home. They tend to really adore human beings more than another cat. So, while they'll play with another cat, uh, if they have their choices, they'd much prefer just having you all to themselves. Meaning if you have two of them and you're laying down, you'll have one here, pretty soon the next one up here, and pretty soon the next one up here, and another one here. They, they will constantly try to get above the other because they want to be with you and be top cat. Grooming is much easier than the Persian. However, you would take a warm, wet makeup pad to wipe the eyes once a day. That's to prevent any drainage that they might get, which is generally a rusty color and or clear tearing, okay? Uh, it should not be excessive because that would mean that it was uh, irritated more than, than anything else. Combing is just, uh, you know, maybe two minutes you'd have an exotic comb. You'd comb everything upward towards the head. If you're combing the chest, it's upward. If you're combing the back of the body, it's upward towards the head. That makes the hair stand straight out like a little pom-pom ball. And uh, the older they get, the thicker the coat gets and the shinier it gets. The more you comb, the prettier they are.